come to the next step, we hook up the tool to the ASP, USB ASP. As you can see, all the pins are labeled on both sides of it. So um, when you have a look at the pin out of the Multistar you see, you see Mosi, Miso, Suk, RST, VCC and Ground on the right. So I can use this to hook up my tool the right way. So when I take it, I have on the left side the orange wire. It is Mosi. So I will disconnect the plug from the USB ASP looking for the Mosi port and connect the yellow wire there the orange wire I mean so next one is Miso Miso is the red wire I take the red wire and plug it plug it in to Miso so um, follow up this way, I will hook up this and then come back. So I have hooked up this completely. Um, as we use an external power source for flashing, we have to remove the jumper. This is the 5 volt power we don't need because we power the ESC from an external power source. So I have marked the ESC where I have to cut the shrink to get to the pads. I will cut this now. Be careful to not touch the board beneath. I do so two parallel cuttings and lift it up. So, and you can put this side by side. You re need to be really careful because I show you this. So, I will cut these two parts. So, beneath there we have the ports, as you see, in the upper you see the Atmel chip. So, when you cut too hard, you cut the pins of the Atmel. I have also made a harness for the power source for the ESC. It's for a 9 volt block battery to connect to two crocodile that I can put on the plus and minus of the ESC. So I will hook up all this and come back. So now I have hooked up everything. I installed the KK Multicopter flash tool and have connected the USB ASP to my computer. And all I need to do now is to put the tool correct to my ESC. I hold down this and hit the flash button. So after a few seconds I have the proof that flashing was okay. I can remove and my ESC is flashed. So uh, will hook up all this to a battery and show you um, how the motors will sound when you have done the correct flashing. So I have hooked up now the flashed ESC to my receiver and now we'll connect the power and you hear the typical sound. So this confirms the flashing and everything is okay.
so i hope you enjoyed this video um next video will be i think um again building my tricopter or flashing the 9xr or something else i will have a look at it thank you bye